You start to uncover that beneath all of that technology is humanity. And so any way that you can describe humanity, that's how you describe the internet. It has enabled the human to be no longer voiceless. Um, which means people will fail spectacularly, but um, also amazing things will happen. Okay, here we go. Uh, my name is Heidi Hackamer. I'm the founder and director of strategy of Wolf and Wilhelmina. We are a New York-based uh, brand strategy shop. Uh, so my name is uh, Murad Rayan. Uh, I'm half Korean, I'm half Jordanian, and I am heading the Al Jazeera's Innovation Research Group, uh, which primarily focuses on two things. So we're talking about the internal research, and, we're t and then the second part is the open in, uh, innovation. Hi, I'm Tim Nolan. Uh, I work for a company called Huge in New York City. We're a, a digitally-led advertising agency. Uh, and I spend my time uh, dealing with work for clients and then I also have an active art practice and the challenge to my life is balancing the two. I'm Ed and I work for a company called Ableton and we make hardware and software for making music. My name's Ian Durkin and I'm a curator at Vimeo.com. I started as a user just watching videos and uploading videos and moved on to an intern for six months, and then I was an employee on the community team. And then for the past two years, I've been on the curation team. Something becomes culture when we take for granted. We have it so much that we don't even think about it anymore. Then when I mean, you have moments where you take a step back and you realize, um, holy shit, this is actually you know, revolutionizing quite, quite a few different areas in the world. If I had to describe internet culture, um, I would say it's a mirror, both good and bad, right? So whoever we are as people gets reflected into digital culture. You are your Facebook post, or you are your latest Instagram, or you are your funny tweet. They're just different ways of people expressing themselves. In the past, they may have painted uh, a painting, or they may have written a phrase on a wall, or they may have carved something in stone. I think it's just this uh, generation's way of making their mark. It's this amazing canvas upon which our lives can be reflected, and then it's also a canvas that we can create lives with. A long time ago, the cost of uh, creating things excluded most people from being able to create unless they were selected by someone who had the means to do so. If it, if it wasn't for the internet, I wouldn't have anything. I would maybe drive an ice cream truck. I don't know. We are now at the internet culture where it has enabled a human to be no longer voiceless. He, his voice can be heard. Um, opportunity can knock on his door, right? Uh, access to information, um, education. Uh, it made us more equal, more than ever. The internet has, has made everything much more accessible. Um, both tools for creation and tools for distributing. Anyone with like a, a camera can go out, shoot something great, upload it, and it can get like a million views and that can lead to other work and a career in filmmaking. Like you don't need to be, have like all like the right connections or know like uh, someone who's going like, to distribute your work. You can just throw it online and if it's, if it's, the, if the work is strong enough, it'll, it'll take off. A girl emailed me uh, an image, it was of her photo book, and she said, hey, like, I don't know if you'll remember me, but you actually posted my work like several years ago, and it was the, the, the post actually got her invited out to Europe to have a, a show as part of like a Mercedes-Benz thing, and she actually flew out there for it, and her, I think it was some sort of like contest or whatever, and hers like won the award or whatever and uh, she met some people out there and she started dating a guy who helped actually organize the event and then she was writing to tell me that like she not only like won, like kind of launched her career because of that posting but she actually married the guy that she met out there that organized the event so it was crazy to read this thing where she was sending me her photo book and it really represented not only like launching her professional career but like her actual like you know her personal life. In the late 90s, it was very much a, the allure was this new technology. 
And then, you know, as layers and time go by, you start to uncover that beneath all of that technology is humanity, and it's just people. I came up with this word then, <clears throat> which I still use, which is the word senius. So genius is the um, talent of an individual. Senius is the talent of a whole community. And I think, you know, in history you see many examples of great seniuses, like um, that point in the Renaissance when Raphael, Michelangelo and da Vinci were all alive at the same time and in the same cities. Brian Eno said this? Yeah. He's so smart. Senius is trying to describe a group that is somehow pushing boundaries. And um, those things are very much more evident online where we see the little groupings of people that operate. You know, they're really independent of distance, but they actually operate in small groups. For me, that's what creativity is, is people from different backgrounds, understanding, having a mutual respect and talking to each other and um, things happening where those disciplines cross over. So that might be in a city, that might be in Barcelona, that might be on the internet, that might be on It's Nice That. That could be anywhere, I think, but I, I see that idea as just creativity. At the moment, we're in a state where there's a huge amount of opportunity, but very little of it is realised. And so people are taking a lot of risks. Um, which means people will fail spectacularly, but um, also amazing things will happen. So it's not just about lifestyle or culture, it's about a different way of living that is starting to emerge right now across the world.